I knew they were going to do this. I mean, they got to find some way to milk this franchise for all that it's worth. Not that I don't think this is going to be a bad film. I hope it's a good film. But here's the problem that I find with never... Because, okay. From what I understand, John Krasinski is not coming back to direct this. That's problem number one. Uh, problem number two is every time they try to go back and and like redo or like do what happened before like when we when we started a quiet place we were already like neck deep in the shit of what was going on with the the plot line mm -hmm. aliens came in aliens were messing shit up and basically everyone on the planet died because no one could keep quiet mostly most most people died because they couldn't keep quiet now when when they did the first one it was really really good they did the second one i thought the second one was just as good equally as good some parts i think were a little bit iffy but i still thought it was a great film i still think it was more than worthy but a quiet place day one i don't know I'm afraid in some ways they're going to break the lore. Because that's that's the thing about it is like whenever they go back and they do these kinds of films, they sometimes break the lore and they don't even realize it. And it makes the previous films less impactful. And I hope that that's not the case with this. I hope that they treat this right. They, you know, handle it gently. And we get something truly, like, like worthy of of standing next to the previous two Quiet Place films. Yeah. How about you, Nick? I mean, you're a huge fr uh, fan of this franchise. and uh, Have you watched this trailer yet, or have you seen anything about it? I had no idea this was a thing. <laughs> well, I know that they're working on A Quiet Place Part 3. I know that that's, that's definitely a thing, because Emily Blunt has talked about it. Hmm. Like, Emily Blunt has talked to John Krasinski. They're married, after all. And she's basically said, "Yeah, I want, I, want to, I want to keep going. I want to see what happens with these characters next." And John's just like, "Uh, do I have to? Come on, we told such a great story at the end of the second one, where you know humanity finally has hope." Damn it. Okay, I guess I am gonna have to make another one <laughs> because the misses will be angry if I don't. Uh, so yeah. A Quiet Place Day One, the official trailer. Let's uh, look at it and let's see what we think about it overall. Here we go. Take it away. See, okay, this is taking an environment completely unfamiliar with what we were used to in, in the, the country, in the previous two yeah. films, which were set mostly like in the country or by the coast. This being set in the city, like 
This has always been the problem because major cities are so massively overpopulated and there's such a concentration of people in such a small area. Mm -hmm. You know those things are going to gather there and be almost impossible to like keep track of. Because they were able to keep track of how many there were in the countryside. Like, think, I think it was like four. They said there were four within the vicinity of I their home. So. At Like whenever we saw the map in the first one. I can't remember. But yeah. <clears throat> it seems as though like we're going to be dealing with a lot more of them. And also we're getting backstory on Jaman Hansu's character. Who... Was in the second one. He was the dude who drove uh, Killian Murphy to the radio station. Mm -hmm. And damn, I'm. I mean, great casting. Lupita Nyong'o, who is one of my favorite modern actresses, and Jaman Hansu, who I think is an an immensely underrated actor. I mean, <laughs> I hope the kitty lives. I don't think it does. Um. I. Because here's the thing, when we see the meteor crash. Yeah, but it's she's got it in the carrier. Maybe. Maybe. I mean. I don't know. I mean. She had it in there. In where? Oh, go back. Okay, I saw it. Let's see. Yep. Yeah. It's in the carrier, so I hope the kitty does live too. Uh. I don't see it in that part, though. Yeah. May just be out of shot there. You know, we don't... We don't really see... Yeah. I mean, she's still got her satchel on, so she probably still has it. Maybe the I cat... I hate to tell you, but if that cat gets hungry and meows one time, it's breakfast. Well, what if... Oh, what if uh, the cat is unable to meow maybe it's maybe she's looking after it and it maybe has like busted vocal cords or something maybe because that's the thing i mean millicent ramsey you know who plays the daughter or not millicent ramsey i i forget her name that's gonna that's gonna irk me now i'm sorry but she uh the eldest daughter where she's deaf mm -hmm. you know you would have to have like the thing about it is this story creates extraordinary circumstances where people who are people who are you know born from you know born in having different you know having you know born with ailments such as being deaf can be a benefit for instance the Abbott family was able to survive because you know they know sign language they know how to communicate and also they're you know they, it it basically shows that they are able to adapt because, you know, they have a daughter who is, you know, who was born deaf. Mm -hmm. And, you see, I would say if she has a cat that has, like, damaged larynx or is unable to meow, maybe that could be a reason why the cat would live. And, you see, it's, I mean, hell, the raccoons that we saw in the, uh, in A Quiet Place that got axed off pretty quickly... But the raccoons that were in a quiet place, they survived that long. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, if the cat realizes that it's in danger and it needs to be quiet and goes into survival mode, then who knows? Maybe it can survive. I mean, I don't know. I really don't know, but I'm interested in, in seeing this. I mean, I'll have to wait and see who, you know, my trusted reviewers... I'll have to wait and see what they have to say. When's it coming out? June. Oh. Hey, maybe Your near birthday. my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> maybe it'll be near my birthday. We'll see. But, yeah. Either way, A Quiet Place, day one, official trailer. Dang. That was... That actually looks pretty good. I want to see this. I mean, what's your opinion, Nick? I mean, look pretty good? Yeah, could be good. Yeah. Well, either way, everybody. So, I think that's going to do it. So, until next time, signing off, I'm Nate. I'm Kate. I'm Nick. Y'all be good people. Take care. Peace.